come in peace. Hello everybody. We're doing an unboxing today. I'm so excited. I've never shopped with them before, so this is my first time. So this is gonna be a very interesting review, but y'all don't even know yet. So this is a crystal lace. First of all, I've never heard of crystal lace in my life. And I think crystal lace is very convenient because it literally matches anybody's skin tone. You don't have to worry about the lace being too dark, too light, too thick, like literally anything, right? This is a 13 by four lace front wig. This is a 12 inch bob and it has 200 density. So we're gonna just show you the lace real quick before I pop it on my head. I'm gonna take a shower and stuff and wash my hair, but I wanna show y'all something because I'm actually gonna be dying this wig, I'm excited. This is the wig. 12 inches, full wig, has a band on the inside, so just in case it doesn't fit your head fully. I mean, it's not a 360, but you know, you could tape down the back, which I never do. I want y'all to see clear as day. Who is this? Who is this? You can't even tell the lace. It is pre-plucked and pre Bleached, you see the knots? You don't, because it's pre-bleached. Like, y'all, y'all, I've never had a wig, and I'm telling you, and I'm being honest, this is my honest review, I'm telling y'all. I've never had a wig that came pre-plucked and bleached. The knots bleached already. And the one thing I like about that the most is I have been having more experience on wigs lately. So for me, it's like, I can have the option of bleaching it myself or plucking it myself, even though I'm still working on the plucking. This wig literally just, just comes like that. Anybody that is not good at bleaching the knots or plucking your hair, this is perfect. I, I keep wanting to put it on my head, but I'm just gonna show y'all a couple little things real quick. So it did come with, you know, I got my little PR box, so came with a little scarf. Cause I'm so tired of of using the stuff that I use to try to keep it down. It comes with an extra band. Okay, so we gonna show y'all. I'm gonna zoom in. So here, here's the transparent lace, and then here is the crystal lace. Where did it go? Like, if I were to not be in direct light, look at it, it's not even there. Where's the lace, huh? Where's the lace, where's the lace? Crystal lace is definitely a new thing that's like coming about. Oh, <laughs> it's like a new coming thing, which I think is cool because when like people came up with like HD and transparent, everybody's like, oh my gosh, thank God. Because you have to learn a lot how to do wigs when you have all this extra stuff. Like when you have a lace that's too dark, you gotta buy lace tint that'll make it lighter. Or if it's too light, then you gotta buy lace tint to make it dark or mousse. I seen some mousse today in the store, but I don't think they have my skin color. It said light brown, but I don't trust that. So we are going to just pop this on real quick because I want to show y'all it's natural state before I start bleaching it. And I'm gonna show y'all the colors that I want to pick too. I was kind of playing with it yesterday. In reality, I was wearing this yesterday just playing around with it because I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. If you really wanted to, you really don't have to glue this down. So yeah, y'all see that? Y'all see that? And y'all know damn well when I cut this up lace, look, what? It's the best, it's the best I've ever had, it's the best I've ever seen. The hair on top of that is beautiful, like it's super soft. Me even like playing around with it, it was super easy to like maneuver, you know? It's, fa it's, it's going back on my head right now, but just hear me out. I really just wanted to show y'all like, come on now. In reality, I, you don't have to glue this down. If you just wanna pop this on real quick, you could. This is a full 360 of it. I'm trying to hold it because, you know, I got this big ball in the back of my head, so it keep pulling it back. Y'all can see me like running my fingers through it, it's so stuck. What we are going to be doing, which I'm about to start doing right now, is we're gonna be dyeing it. If you follow my Instagram and you did this poll, just know that you are a part of what we are doing here. So I'm gonna post both these colors. I'm gonna color it somehow. We're just adding something simple. We're not dyeing the whole wig. I don't wanna dye the whole wig. I just wanna dye a little bit of it. Dyeing the whole wig probably wouldn't be a problem, but I just, I'm nervous, okay, I'm nervous, I'm a nervous queen. I have nutmeg, it's like a redhead with a tint of brown in it, I like it. And then this one is titanium. I've never had gray hair, so I was like, mm, maybe I'll do the gray. So I'm gonna post that on my Instagram story right now, but while this is dying, people could be voting. So what we're gonna do is, say I have the wig on, we're gonna dye this part, boom. We're gonna pick it out and dye that. I think that is a cute idea. I've never done something like that before, and I'm excited. So the first thing we obviously have to do is bleach it. And then we go put all the hair back that we don't want. Let me show y'all exactly what I'm doing, honey. see first actually what color people said I should do so it's really close 69 volts for gray and 73 volts for the other color
we are gonna go with the nut nutmeg 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 so i don't have any more gloves so my hands just gonna get dirty It is the next day. Look what I did to my hands, y'all. Oh my gosh, it looks so bad on camera. Does it look that bad? Okay, so I don't know why I thought it was invincible and it wasn't gonna like stick to my skin. So now my hands are gonna be orange for a couple days. But I wanna get this video done. So this is what it looks like freshly done. This is the color. I really like it. It looks cute. But yeah, the sides look really cute. This is what it looks like when it's freshly washed. I deep conditioned it and I shampooed it. I'm sitting here trying to make a TikTok, right? Now, why the hell did I just move the camera? And I told myself I was gonna move the camera. But we're about to do the stocking method. I seen somebody do this on TikTok and I love to try new things that will better my life. So we're gonna try it out. So I'm gonna tie it. But the first thing that we're actually officially gonna get done is push all this hair back. Cause you know I went to sleep and woke back up. So it's all crazy looking. I did finish the wig. I wanted to wait until I had it on my head to actually do all the rest of the stuff because I've learned that styling it before you put it on your head is not a good idea. Cause once you put it on your head, it's just gonna get messed up anyways. And it wastes a lot of time. I think I should oil my scalp. Yeah, I'm gonna oil my scalp. Oil my scalp, got some of the drink is back there. Now we're gonna get started. I put some oil. I think I put too much, but it's okay. I think I made it too tight. Oh, it's like perfect. So you have to make sure that all your hair is in it. Duh. She said to cut a little hole by the ear, but not like the whole ear. You know what I'm saying? If you've seen my other videos, I'll cut the whole ear out already. So then this part will be hard to stick down. She said, just cut a tiny, tiny hole right in the ear like right here boom so that'll stick down i don't see why i still have to cut the ear when i could just do it later but we're gonna do exactly what old girl said to do i'm watching the trial with amber heard and johnny depp and <laughs> there's this man talking i think his name is jonathan or something he's very boring so i just keep like pausing it until it gets past him but we're just gonna spray all this and then blow dry it i was always scared to like spray too much but anybody that does wig dugs if anybody does wigs knows you could literally just tear that shit back <laughs> Do as much as you need, queen. This is about to be the best melting I've ever done in my life. And that's the thing, I'm not a pro, so it's like I do some bootleg ass shit. So we're gonna cut the sides first, I think, I hope. Then we're gonna cut down the middle. And when we cut down the middle,
You cannot tell me that this shit is not melted. I've never had something so melted in my life. I like this new method. I'm gonna definitely take this into consideration and start using this method. Next is putting the wig on. Love that for us. I wanna bring out maybe a little bit of edges. Maybe not, I don't know, it just depends on how good this looks on my head. But this color is amazing. I love how I dyed it. One thing that I like about this wig specifically is the inside has these and they are optional. I'm like, oh, I don't really need these. Well, I don't necessarily think I do, but I think that is the best invention that anybody has ever come up with because I have had wigs. The cap is too big and you have to basically sew on one of these, except like it doesn't have these. So it basically just looks like this and you have to sew it on yourself and it's so frustrating it's so hard to do and I just thought this was very convenient I might need it it just really depends on how this wig fits my head but I like that that is an option because I was looking in here I'm like do I really need these because if not they're just gonna kind of be hanging back there but they came off Boy, you should know that. Come on. Look, I messed up the dye a little bit, okay? I ain't get every little tiny crevice. On this side, I did pretty good, but still, like, come on, bro. You cannot tell me that this shit, I'm cold. I just wanna throw out there to the, to the general public. Come on now, bro. Like, come on now. Come on, bro. You do not see a lace. You don't see one. I'm not convinced. The edges, I don't know. I always like just do some stupid stuff to my edges. I mean, my edges ain't a hundred percent, you know. I do want to do a middle part. I wanted to initially, I wanted to initially do a middle part, but then I had like did it to the side and I was like, wow, that is so cute like that. We might just do a, a good old middle part. Yeah, we'll do a middle part. It ain't ugly. I really like how the brown kind of like sneaks in. I like it. So we have basically made it to the end of this video, but before we end it, I'm going to get dressed. I'm not doing the most, I'm just getting dressed. So I will be right back and I'm gonna clean up because I love to clean up before I end a video. This is it, I'm so mad about my hands. Like this is a joke. It looks so, I know when I'm going back to edit this, it's not gonna look at, I mean it is bad, but like it looks crazy on camera, I don't know. But this is it, y'all, come on now. This crystal lace is coming through. I think this is definitely a wig for somebody that, which you will be able to get down below. I definitely think it's a wig for somebody that is not that experienced on, or even if you are experienced, like less work you gotta do, I guess, I don't know. But me having to do this, I did not have to pluck anything, y'all, nothing. This is not plucked. This is not plucked. I did not plug nothing on the top. All I did was part it, push it down with a hot comb, and then put some makeup on it, and boom. Like, this is so cute. I love the color. Look at it. Uh. I'm definitely gonna take some pictures, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. And you will find this wig down below. If you want to match me and get this exact wig, make sure you go down below in the description, shop at their website. I'll give you the direct link to this wig as well. Thank you for Atina Hair for sponsoring this video and giving me this wig, because it's beautiful. I love it. It definitely gets a 10 out of 10. I'll see you guys next video. Bye, y'all.